Galen Zarman here with Rescue Methods and Absolute Rescue. Uh, we're going to go over a quick rigging technique for pulling victims out of a level one style trench. You can also work for some level twos if you got depth. It's not as simplistic as just four point pullouts, but it's really straightforward and easy if you have the right gear. So we're going to go over it statically here and then we're going to show it dynamically in the trench. If we've got that patient in that mid zone, whether we've taken our middle column out and thrown whalers or not, this is a versatile system that lets us do a true vertical lift out uh, with the patient vertically oriented or an angled lift out if we've got enough zone. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna take a simple system with a progress capture device in it. In today's application, we're using the CSR, the second generation of it. It's an awesome device. You wanna make sure that you have an actuator control uh, that has a leash or an extender on it so that if the top rung of the ladder is well out of your reach, you can still operate the device or the system. We're gonna take this single carabiner, make sure there's a wide enough carabiner that's gonna lock around the rungs on your ladder, and we're gonna go ahead and clip it into the top of the ladder. We're then going to take our Stokes yeah. basket, dump, dump green, and we're going to rig the top of the CSR, or the bottom of the CSR, onto the connection point or the rigging point on the Stokes. Once we're in position there, we get our basket in position, whether we're working the end wall, whether we're using a cross brace here, going from whale to whale, or from strong back to strong back, uh, we can alter the angle of this ladder to manipulate, number one, how much leverage we apply to help bring the victim up and put them on, how much gap and room we take up at the bottom, everything about it is adjustable for us. And when we're ready for this to deploy down or haul up, we just simply activate our actuator control. And down's gonna go the Stokes. So when it gets to the bottom, leave it there for a sec, guys. We package the victim in the stokes, and we're ready to haul up. We make sure that the base of the ladder or the feet of the ladder are footed well. We don't have such a shallow angle on it that it's gonna kick out or slide into the trench, and we're simply gonna haul. And up comes our victim nice and easy. When we get to the top side, you'll see on the dynamic set, we're gonna have some other uh, points up here to capture the Stokes basket so that when we clear, we can swing it out, set it on bridges if we need to, get it secured and get everybody in a position to do a lift out, get over the popsicle sticks or the top of the strong backs and get them in a position of safety. So quick victim retrieval technique for uh, level one, level two trenches. Good, now send them to the Stokes. Just run your top of So at this point, guys, as soon as they have him packaged, we can go ahead and haul him up on the ladder, son. Okay, now what we can do is we can use the ladder as a fulcrum, okay? We can get some guys on this end of the ladder and we can simply bring him up, throw the bridging underneath him, and let him back down. For this to work, remember you gotta have more ladder sticking out above the trench than you do below that point. If you don't have it, it's gonna be a lot more work. Bring him up more. Yeah, bring him up. Bring him. Bring him up more. Yep. As he travels higher and higher, changing the load from the end of the lever to the fulcrum point makes it easier and easier to pivot him. Take them all the way up. Okay. Good. Now you got to be able to lift a little bit and angle back. Come up. There you go. Now you guys can pull the whole ladder up towards you. We need to slide. Good. Good. You can go ahead. You can pull them right out of the trench that way across the bridge. There you go. 
Well done, guys. Good job.